Hi again, this is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com and today is July 18th, 2020. It is currently 10, 16 a.m. Chicago time. All right, what I want to look at here is the Australian dollar because uh, I see a little something something going on here that I thought would be uh, video worthy for those uh, watching this. And this Australian dollar currency, this is the futures market, but of course, as it is tagged to the US dollar, uh, you can simply just translate this over to the Aussie US dollar in the Forex market. It's the, the same, there's no inversion or anything like that. Just, just the prices are just slightly off because uh, one is spot and one is future. Anyway, it's the patterns that I'm more interested in here, not so much whether this is uh, spot or future, the pattern is pretty much the same and you can compare that on your own. Now what you're looking at here is the weekly chart of the Australian dollar and there's there's a lot of things on here I'm not going to go through everything here these are these are notes that I leave for myself because I look at you know, 18 different markets uh, every week and uh, trying to keep all the uh, things that I uh, fine within the market in my head is a little bit uh, too much juggling for this old brain of mine so I leave these little notes that that give me a hint as to what direction I was going anyway down here I just have a few can indicators that I like to use the percent R and the Stokes and the MACD and the DMI down here and then this is how I normally will set it up and what I want to point out here is the red diamond as you can see right here uh, represents a weekly turn date uh, an F date a weekly F date and usually a high percentage you know 80 percent plus I will expect to see a weekly swing either top or bottom depending on what direction the price has been going when it enters into this time period and in this case you can see it is moving higher so I'm looking for a top uh, for this particular red diamond within one bar so as you can see here there was no top uh, last week or I should say the week before because we just ended uh, the current week which is right here but you can see when I put my mouse over this uh, red diamond here representing week ending July 10th you can see it's highlighting that price bar right here so let me just reference this bar if you'll notice the week before did not produce uh, a weekly turn although it, it did produce a, a wedge breakout which could happen at times but I normally will still look for a weekly swing until you know the fat lady sings and it's all over with so in this case here, uh, since I don't see a swing here, and I definitely don't see a swing here, um, we're left with this bar or bust. In other words, either this will form a weekly swing top, or this was just simply a wedge breakout that was being indicated here. So I'm going to focus on this right now as a potential weekly swing top. The other thing that is of interest to me and maybe interest to you is that it is within this green overbought zone. So uh, often if you see a potential weekly swing top or daily swing top depending on the time frame you're looking at in a green zone like this that there's a high probability for that top to occur. Now in this case, of course, we've already had a top occur back here. It came out and re-entered. And sometimes when this happens, where it, it has affected price, it moved out, but then moves back in, it could move to higher uh, rather than doing a double top. But I'm interested in the fact that unless that happens, we are still in the overbought zone. We have the potential for a lower weekly swing top in comparison to this one here. See, this is, has a higher high than here. So a weekly swing top confirmed here would be a wonderful thing for bears because it's 
just it either is a, a double or just under the previous weekly swing top beginning that lower top formation on the way down and at the very least down into this time period for the next red diamond that you see here so uh, there's not a whole lot of time space between these two weekly turns but there is enough for those who trade the lower time frames being daily or intraday so this here is useful information especially for me uh, when I trade the Forex on the hourly charts I like to go in the daily trend direction and if it looks like to me that we're going to be doing that for the next week or two at the very least uh, that puts the wind to my back and it makes the odds even better for me if I see uh, some short-term setups which we'll get into in a moment so once we've discerned that there is high potential for a weekly swing turn to occur we go to the daily chart all right let me bring this over here indicators all lining up that's good uh, if you'll notice here we're in this overbought zone in the percent R you can see these little this little peak here and that's for this period right here so look at look at where that level is price level then follow that with this peak right here which is lower yet you'll notice that it marks a higher peak on the chart itself so while prices moved higher on the price chart here on the indicator it peaked lower okay so this is a bearish divergence pattern and this is often an early alert that this market is tiring out and has a potential to start breaking down below this uh, trend line support that I uh, had drawn underneath previous lows uh, on up the other thing to notice is this previous daily F date marking this bottom that was here and then prices continue to move higher to here which is now marked by this short-term daily F date this is just telling me that there is the potential that we can have a swing we already confirmed one a day early but we have the potential for this to break down and go lower and uh, that goes really well with this expectation on the weekly chart so in this case here and let me move this over again a little annoying uh, so we see the bearish divergence here we see it here and we are also coming up if you look over here to a bearish period which is supposed to start about this time period over here around uh, July 21st which is like three days away so seeing this and, and this big red area by the way here is is like big old bottom then it's going to spike up higher is the kind of the message I'm getting from that come the 28th so we've got ourselves at least a short-term potential trade for the um, the day trading time frames hourly minutes so forth so what I would say here is one strategy is a breakout below the support line now I've got to redraw it because I got this little tiny nipple thing here I'm gonna put that right there so this is the current two bottoms moving up and we also have this EMA support line here I believe that's the uh, 21 if I'm not mistaken 81321 so right here if if there's a breakout just below this support area and this EMA line especially the EMA line that would be a, a really quick early indication that we're going to be looking for prices to start moving lower and that would be great then for those who are day trading in the forex to be going in that negative direction all right well i hope that's as clear as mud uh 
you got any questions, just go ahead and email me. And uh, I guess that's going to wrap it up for the Australian dollar. I got a few more markets I got to take care of today. Send out the update report to the membership. So thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. And uh, I'll be talking to you in the next video. Bye.